have the usual suspects near our coasts, like Changi and Jurong Island. But even more inland areas like Geylang and Katong could be at risk. In fact, the danger zone extends as far as Bishan and Tuapayo because they lie less than 5 metres above sea level and sea levels are rising. So a common number that, that is used in the media regarding sea level rise is one metre by 2100. For the global average, for Singapore, our best guess estimate, we have 1.5 metres by 2100. That's above my shoulder, isn't it? OK. Whoa, right up here. But when we want to try and protect our residents, our infrastructure, you want to know what the extremes are, what the 1 in 20 possibility is. Mm -hmm. We're looking at greater than 2.5 metres. We're looking at this level. Oh, gosh. So what about Singapore that makes it so vulnerable? The effects of what happens at the poles actually is amplified in the tropics. These ice sheets are massive. Anything that has mass it has, has attraction to it, and the larger the mass, the greater the attraction. The ice sheets lose mass, that attraction is diminished, and the water actually flows away from the ice sheet and is, goes back to the tropics. On top of that, you have local factors, then things like storm surges. If you have low atmospheric pressure, then they, they will cause a bulge in the ocean. As the wind blows across the ocean, it will blow a water mass against the coastline. And you have those storms slowly pushing water against the edges of the South China Sea, and then it moves into the Singapore Straits. And so we'll see excursions of you know, up to 30, 40 centimeters over several hours. First of all, if we don't have enough fresh water to begin with, mm -hmm. we can't recycle what we don't have. Mm -hmm. Do we then turn to the seawater as the next best source of water? Well, if only it was that simple. Climate change has other impacts to the water quality, such as increasing amount of algae from warming of the oceans. We can actually have a decrease in the quality of the water. Our systems were designed for a certain range of water quality. In Singapore, we rely primarily on membrane technology mm -hmm. that separates the salt from the fresh water. So essentially, the increasing number of plankton in the ocean is more than the current filters were designed to handle. Mm -hmm. So they can still filter the water, but they can't filter as much water. Mm -hmm. So it lowers the production and it makes the entire system less efficient. 